Oh, hi there. It's Matthew. Lovely day in Toronto, Canada. I'm just out on the old electric unicycle doing some last minute errands for Christmas time. And today I'm going to teach you how to make sorrel. If you're not in the Caribbean, this is how you do it. So Mok and I have done an episode about this. You can check it out on the channel, of course. And this is for the people who don't have access to the fresh sorrel. You can actually buy dried sorrel, which is pretty much as good. So I'm just going to rip it to the shop, get some ginger, oops, speed bump. And uh, yeah, get some ginger. I have cinnamon already. I have dried sorrel that I already got. So this is it. Sorrel if you're not in the tropics. All right, so I'm back on the yard here. I got the number one ingredient, which is of course sorrel. I get mine from Caribbean Corner, which is a place in Kensington Market. So if you're in the city, please hit them up. You can probably find it online, but most Caribbean or West Indian grocery stores are going to have it. I also got some ginger, and those are really just the main two ingredients. Now people mix it up a lot if you're making sorrel punch or different type of sorrel drinks. A great video to check out is uh, Chris De La Rosa's Caribbean Pot, and he has an awesome YouTube channel and website and cookbook, and he's got a whole bunch of different sorrel episodes and recipes on there, so big up Chris, hopefully we can link up soon. But yeah, we're gonna do a kind of classic sorrel today and I might throw in a few of my own ingredients just for the hell of it, try to mix it up. Anyhow, yeah, this is just the sorrel I got online. It is leaf from Jamaica. Got about 100 grams of it. And yeah, it does have a little recipe on the back as well. So the ratio is about one cup sorrel to four cups water. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I mean, realistically, if you throw some water in a pot and a bunch of sorrel, you're gonna end up with a good drink. It's one of those ones that's hard to mess up. So I'll loosely follow the instructions here, much like my mentor, uh, Ross Damoko, of course. Okay, so we'll pour a bunch of sorrel in there. Looks good. And now for some water, this pot gets about four cups, fits it anyway. Let's uh, we top it up a bit actually. Okay, so it's all filled up with water. Five, six cups maybe. I don't know how much sorrel I threw in, probably over a cup. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And while I do that, I'm going to start mashing and smashing up my ginger. Just how Moko taught me. Yeah, so I'm going to top it up even more. You might as well get a full pot. There's not too many more ingredients to go in. All right, so this is the way Moko showed me how to deal with ginger. If you got a big piece, you want to smash it up and kind of crush it. And the easiest way is to do that inside of a plastic bag or something so you don't make a huge mess everywhere, which I've definitely done in the kitchen before. So I got this here. We'll cut it up, break it into some smaller pieces. And yeah, just start giving it a bash with the edge of a knife or machete if you carry that in the kitchen. I don't know. A couple real quick cuts. Don't mind the finger. A uh, little bit of a skateboard injury and dislocated it real bad, but I'll live. Here we go. Smells nice. So we got some ginger there. And this edge of the knife you can see is pretty good for bashing. So put the ginger in here. Seems good. And yeah, just start giving it some smash action. I'm actually gonna use my other hand, that doesn't feel too good. Though definitely not perfect, but relatively contained anyway. And yeah, it didn't go flying all over the floor, so that's fine. Smells so good. Uh, that's actually a lot of ginger, but I really love the taste of it. And knowing that it's a anti-inflammatory and supposedly keeps you real healthy, I'm gonna super load this with ginger. So feel free to do yours as per your own tastes, but I like ginger. So I'm gonna put most of this in there. Ooh, look at that steam starting to come up. Looks so good. So that actually was a lot of ginger <laughs> now that I think of it. So, uh, I don't know, whatever. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It's really hard to mess up completely, but yeah, do it to your own taste, whatever. Maybe save this for something else. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of my own twist on this. I have some soursop leaf that Koopy and I picked and some lemongrass or fever grass too. I just think they would complement each other well. And also, I got an orange. So I see other people putting either dried orange skin. So I'm just gonna put a couple slices of whole orange and just see how it goes. Ooh, that's boiling up quick. Okay, we're throwing soursop in there. Big up Koopy. Got some lemongrass in there. I might have put a bit too much water in, but again, it's gonna work. No big deal. Just toss it in, whatever. Now we need some orange in there, definitely. Just give it a few slices, maybe just two. Don't want to overpower it or anything like that. That looks fine. Yeah, let's do two slices, that sounds good to me. And look at that, wow, beauty. <laughs> Pot's overflowing. Ah, okay. So you're gonna let that come to a boil and then you just let it simmer. Now when we cook it in Jamaica on the fire at Mokwa's place, it usually sits for a couple hours. On the package it says simmer for four hours. I've left it overnight before and have not noticed any adverse effects. So feel free just to put it on however long you want and just let it sit. As long as it steeps for, I'd say at least an hour, you're probably good. Longer the better for me though. All right, we're living on the edge here. It's gonna boil over. So, yeah, just gonna turn it down. Leave it on minimum there. And now we just let it sit. Yes, it is looking good. It's been simmering a few hours. Gonna take it out now and give it a taste, sweeten it up. So first step you wanna do is strain it. As Moko says, you don't want any fuckery in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give it a pour in here, try not to make a mess. Whoa, yeah. So that's actually quite a lot for that amount of water. It might be super gingery, but like I said, that is fine with me. It's probably not gonna be too much junk in here, but oh yeah, not bad. Just a real quick, quick strain there. Then you just pour it off into a container you can keep in the fridge. Most people prefer it cold. Uh, I like it kind of as tea. I don't know, I might be a weirdo in that sense. I don't know if they do that in Jamaica. Moko usually waits for it to cool down, but I like it either way. And uh, I'm just gonna store it in here. Now that bowl's a little full. I might make a mess here. We shall see. Can I do a nice gentle pour? Oh no! Little mess, little mess. It's all right. Doesn't stain too bad. <laughs> a little bit too much for this bowl here. Anyhow, I'm prepared. I kind of expected that would happen, given how full it was. But that is our nice pitcher of lovely sorrel ginger, classic with an extra twist of fever grass and soursop. So I'm gonna sweeten it up a bit with some brown sugar and then we're gonna give it a taste. Oh, I love the color of that. Look how dark it turned. It just looks so inviting, like crazy red mulled wine or something. So use whatever you like. I just have some cane sugar and I definitely put in a lot less than Moco does. Uh, do it however you want. And like I said, honey is really nice also. That's probably it. That's all I need. Give her a stir. So I've got no patience myself to wait for this to cool down. We're just gonna pour it straight up right away and see how it is. Oh, that looks so good. Ah, okay, moment of truth. Mm. Nailed it. I'm surprised. I thought I might have over gingered it, but for real, that is fantastic. 
Oh man, that's gonna be so good when it's cold. I'm really feeling the soursop and lemongrass. So anyhow, please do check out Moko's recipe. I'll put that link yeah, below. Nice. And if you want more recipes for sorrel, check out Chris De La Rosa from Caribbean Pot. Great channel. And uh, if you have a good idea for your own recipe, please do link it below. I'd love to check it out. I'd love to explore. And if you want to see even more recipes for sorrel, that's what they call it in Jamaica. But in other countries, they call it different things. It's also known as a rizal. It's also known as hibiscus. And in other Caribbean places, in Spanish-speaking countries, I believe they call it flor de Jamaica, actually, because it's so famous in Jamaica. So please do post your own uh, recipes and links below. Bless up, thanks so much for watching, and happy holidays. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm s